Hey everyone, Creeper here, and today is the fourth day of Kaiji Christmas. Today we'll be covering King Kong vs. Godzilla. This is not to be confused with Godzilla vs. King Kong, which is a movie coming out next year. Now, when that movie comes out, I will make sure to review it, because I don't really have to just do Kaiju reviews and Kaiju Christmas. And I'm happy to announce that Kaiju Christmas will become a yearly thing. This will be the first year, and yeah, we're doing it more. Usually first we go over the characters, but this is an early Godzilla movie. There's no real good characters. This is actually the third Godzilla movie, and it's the first Godzilla movie to be in color. Now, if you guys didn't know, one of those Godzillas on my um, shelf of Godzillas is from this movie. If you guys can point out which one that is, I'll pin the comment to whoever gets it first. Also, these designs are just so iconic. Um, King Kong doesn't look the best, but Godzilla... It's an iconic Godzilla. One of my favorites, honestly. And this is the first time he does not have ears, and he just has um, reptilic skin. So this movie begins with Godzilla breaking out of his ice tomb, which if you've seen the second movie, you would know he gets entrapped in there. Of course, I do not have that movie on DVD, and it's hard to get a hold on, on DVD. If you guys know any way to get it, I would love to cover that one day. Well, um, anyway, so King Kong is basically put on balloons and stuff and basically they fight and he gets completely mauled to death so then they have to escape so then um, king Kong just finna gets electrocuted and it's established early on that king Kong can harvest electricity to become stronger so that's what he does this time and he it becomes equally matched and that's where we get one of the most iconic images from the movie King Kong shoving a tree into Godzilla's mouth is just so iconic, and it's a reference to the original King Kong, and I just love this scene so much. This movie is just so wacky and fun, and it just rolls with it. It knows it's not serious, and it doesn't try to play it off as being serious. It plays it off as being stupid and fun, and I can't appreciate that more, because that's what a Godzilla film was, and basically still is. Now, the newer movies are a bit more serious, but they're awesome. Both types of them are, like, both serious and comedy are so great. And both of them are amazing types of Godzilla media. Now, that is just such a good movie. <laughs> and from, like, a critic point of view, you'd probably give it a, I don't know, 5 out of 10 at the most. But from a view of a Godzilla fan, I have to give it a 9 out of 10 because it's so iconic and it's just such a fun movie. And it, if you guys could pick this movie up, I recommend it because it's fun. And also, I'm going to get into a little bit of a mystery. So it was believed that there was multiple endings, one for Japan and one for America, where King Kong wins in America and Godzilla wins in Japan. Well, no. They are all the same ending. But what actually is true is that at the end of the American release, only King Kong's um, growl can be heard while in... The Japanese both flares can be heard. Yeah, that's really it for now. And yeah, creep her out. And also tomorrow we'll be covering Con Skull Island. So buckle up. The stills I use in my videos are not done by me. Uh, if you want to check out the OC artists, I recommend you do. And if you want to join my Discord server, add me on Discord, Creeper and Daisy, number sign 0413. And if you show a screenshot of your being subscribed, then I will allow you, I'll send you a link to the Discord server. And you could join our subreddit, r slash creepers gulag. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, have a lovely day.